Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at a new revolver offered by Rock Island Armory called the AL 3.1. It's a 357 Magnum in beautiful stainless steel that carries six rounds in the cylinder. This is a first look review of this revolver. Now you may know Rock Island to have the M200 and the M206 revolvers. They have a couple models of each. There are 38 special revolvers. On the budget end of things, this one is very different. It's large, it's a powerhouse, and it, it's got some weight behind it. And it's chambered 357 Magnum that is new for Rock Island. They have a whole new revolver line coming out. And this is the first one I'm going to feature. And it, it's impressive. Now, a point of reference would be the Ruger SP. 101 or a Smith & Wesson K-frame with a two-inch barrel. It, it's pretty heavy duty. It does have a full-size grip there. It's all rubber. It's got a little different texture to it. Slight finger bumps, but I think it will do the trick for taming some of that recoil that the 357 Magnum offers. Fully shrouded two-inch barrel. All right, and you can see that the ejector is shrouded with the under lug there. And the front sight is pinned in. It's a ramped up black front sight that's pinned in right there. And a tunneled rear sight that is fixed. All right, so we're looking at a standard, I, I should say, yeah, standard revolver. You know, a lot of people with their carry revolvers, they, they have that type of setup. And they certainly don't complain about it. The trigger pull... The double action is pretty standard, probably 12 pounds right there. But the website calls the single action trigger between four and six and a half pounds. Now, it's not on the website yet, but I did get a spec sheet and it's saying between four and six and a half pounds. I am measuring this right at four pounds and that is what we're looking at. Not quite a feather trigger. You put a little bit of pressure on there, but a very light trigger that is pretty darn nice. Once you get that aligned, you're just going to tap that trigger and uh, it's going to fire. Now, it does have a transfer bar safety in there, all right, that'll help with, you know, drive, if you happen to drop the revolver, it should not fire on you, okay? So, it hits that transfer bar, then hits that firing pin and sets off that round. Push forward and release the cylinder. Here we're looking at the forcing cone into the two inch barrel. And over here, we can see the timing hand, the bolt stop, and the yoke. Pretty nice setup. And I think that stainless steel is looking pretty beautiful. And then, you know, it, it, it's a powerhouse. It just, it feels strong and very well built. And that's what we'd expect for a 357 Magnum. Now let's get it on the scale here. It's weighing in at one pound, 14 and three quarters ounces. If we move that to just ounces, we're looking at 30 and three quarters ounces. So you're not looking at a lightweight gun. A lot of revolver fans out there, and we're getting used to those cylinders that carry six rounds, which is nice. And that's an advantage that this has over the Ruger SP-101 that carries five rounds. And then here we have 34 and a quarter ounces loaded with 158 grain full metal jacket, 357 Magnum. And just for a point of reference, you know, six rounds of 357 Magnums weighing in at three and a quarter ounces. So here it is, very different. You know, Rock Island Armory stepping away from the 38 Special Revolvers, and they're getting into some heavy-duty models like this. I think revolver fans are going to be happy. Now, you're wondering, how much is that? Well, the MSRP right now is $749. If you're familiar with Rock Island, you'll know that the MSRP and the actual gun store price differentiates quite a bit. You know, the, the, the MSRP and what it's actually sold for is... Quite a bit different, quite a bit cheaper. I'm not sure what the gun stores will be selling this for, but I think Revolver fans are going to like it, and I can't wait to get this to the range and check it out and show you guys everything that it's capable of. By all 
or everything that I can see right now, it is built extremely well. This will be available. It's projected to be available in January of 2020. And you'll be seeing people review this, you know, especially uh, around SHOT Show and times like that. But this is a first look of this new revolver from Rock Island Armory. And I think revolver fans are going to like this. Be on the lookout for a range review shortly. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching. And you guys be safe.